What is going on guys? How y'all doing today? Rangovids Among Us over here and we finally have Battle World Ultimate End Issue 1. I would just like to point out that I am so confused with the Secret Wars, like not in terms of what it is and stuff like that, but the order of the comics because do we have to look at it as if these guys have been in Battle World for months and months because I'm pretty sure we just read about Spider-Gwen and 616 Spider-Man and now all of a sudden they have been in Battle World as if they've been living there for months and I'm just kind of like, I'm a little bit confused so... Yeah, if I, if I get a few things wrong or anything like that, then just let me know in the comments below and obviously I'll try and correct it. Now, as for Secret Wars issue 2, that will be up very soon. We were having problems with that on the Marvel website because the Marvel website was down or something, so that wasn't working out. But hopefully that will be back up later today and hopefully we'll be able to get Secret Wars issue 2 out to you guys. But yeah, so without further ado guys, let's jump into this issue and get on with the review. Alright, so the issue kicks off with the Punisher setting up his sniper rifle and it's very, very reminiscent of the Ultimate Spider-Man issue 160, Death of Spider-Man. Because if you remember, Punisher was the one to shoot Ultimate Spider-Man Peter Parker and this is kind of what it looks like. But of course, after this, we get this awesome shot of the 616 universe and the Ultimate universe both charging at each other. Now what you were seeing on screen is pretty much a little diagram of the different factions of Battleworld or at least in this New York that we are seeing. So technically we've got the Baxter building on one street, we've got the Triskillian base on the other and what we're seeing is pretty much the 616 universe and the Ultimate universe both living together in the same universe. Now I was so confused when I saw this because I genuinely thought that this Spider-Man that we are seeing on screen now was Ultimate Spider-Man Peter Parker, when in fact, this Spider-Man that we're seeing on screen is the 616 Spider-Man. What also gave it away was that Spider-Man also said that it looks like a dream that he had in college, whereas we know that Ultimate Spider-Man Peter Parker never went to college, he never even made it to college. That's how we know that this is the 616 Spider-Man. And right now, as you can see on screen, I absolutely think it's brilliant how his sense of humour just fits so well into the Ultimate Universe, especially because the Ultimate Spider-Man, Peter Parker, also cracked a hell of a lot of jokes, and 616 Spider-Man, of course, is exactly the same, and I think it just fits perfectly into the Ultimate Universe. Now, as you can see, these villains are taken on Spider-Man, and the Ultimates turn up to help him out. And this is where I got a little bit confused as well, because this was where I didn't know that this was the 616 Spider-Man. I still thought that this was Ultimate Spider-Man Peter Parker. And when he was talking to Jessica Drew, I was like, why is he talking to her as if he doesn't know her? Like, I was just so confused. But of course, it all makes sense now. But one of the things that he just can't get his head around is the fact that every single person in the Ultimate Universe knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. So, of course, that's a little creepy when 616 Spider-Man comes over and, well, everyone knows that he is Spider-Man, technically. I should also probably point out that I do know that this isn't the Ultimate Universe. I know that it's the 616 Universe and the Ultimate Universe and a few other universes merged together into Battle World. I know that it could have got a little bit confusing there because I did say that 616 Spider-Man came over to the Ultimate Universe when, in reality, he didn't come over to the Ultimate Universe. The Ultimate Universe came over to him. Kind of, if that makes sense. So yeah, just to clear a few things up before any of you guys comment tell me that I was wrong there, okay? But anyway, so moving on throughout the comic, as you can see, we've got Tony Stark talking to multiple versions of himself. And of course, Spider-Man coming in through the window and joining the conversation. Now, this meeting was actually put together by the Ultimate Universe's Nick Fury. Of course, he's got the eye patch. He looks exactly the same as Samuel L. Jackson. So, of course, it's the Ultimate Universe. And... As you can see, they are pretty much blaming Tony Stark from the Ultimate Universe for this entire disaster of opening a portal and meddling with, like, time travel and, like, spatial dim dimensional portals and all that crazy stuff. Now, if you guys don't know how to tell the difference between the two characters, the Ultimate Universe characters have their, you know, like, their writing, like, their font of when they talk. Their font is in the small letters, like the lowercase letters, and then the people from the 616 universe are talking with the capital letters. So that is how you can tell the difference between the 616 universe and the Ultimate Universe. Now, I would actually like to thank someone on my Facebook page for that because they, de they did actually point that out, so thank you so much for that. 
But yeah, as you can see on screen, Tony Stark from the Ultimate Universe was messing around with a rip in the fabric of the universe and he did something or something went wrong and he turned around and the 616 Tony Stark was standing next to him all of a sudden just out of the blue and that is how all of this craziness kind of started but kind of didn't. They just think it started with him but I actually don't think it did. One of the most interesting things I actually like about this comic is the fact that even though they are working together with alternate versions of themselves, I still like how they still have trust issues. I mean, imagine if you saw your other self, you would instantly trust each other, but here, they don't trust each other at all and they have to learn to trust each other, which I like. Now, what you are seeing on screen is actually, I think, Doom's guards, like Doom actually has control or is on the side of like Thor's like guards and stuff like that and of course we also have like a Gru Iron Man Thor person there which looks interesting but right there those were like the minions of Doom so yeah Doom definitely knows that they've been messing around so that's going to be interesting to see in Ultimate End Issue 2 but as of right now I think my next reviews are going to consist of Spider-Verse, Secret Wars and of course what was the other one? Battle World Issue 1 and of course Secret Wars issue 2 and so on so yeah we'll get those out and then we'll get the Evolve or Die series finished and then we'll finally begin Ultimate Spider-Man issue 1. So yeah, what did you guys think of this issue? I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, I thought it was good, I liked how Tony Stark got to see himself and I also liked how 616 Spider-Man was there and it kind of gave a little twist because they never actually said that it was 616 Spider-Man, you kind of had to figure that out for yourself so I thought that was good. But yeah, so let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button. And of course, go to the links in the description to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And I'll see you guys in my next video.